Now, not all these features are brand new and some of them are kind of old, but they are still cool and I want to talk about them. Starting with the GPS locations, like on the back of this leaning post here, and then there's also this table that I'll talk about in a minute. But these GPS is on the back. You can put your sonar or your GPS and then be back here fishing and still see what is going on, you know, below the boat, which I think is really, really cool. Just having GPS is in different locations, like on the back of seats and stuff. It just is really, really convenient. Now, some of them like Regal's 50 SAV, this thing's got this massive TV on the back that like flips down and folds up, which is just insane. I mean, it's ridiculously cool, but obviously not a feature that a lot of people are going to be able to put on their boat. But they also have GPSs put in the armrests of the captain's chairs in the helms, which is, again is really, really cool, super innovative. And just putting GPSs in locations that you didn't normally think about is just a really cool thing to have on a boat. Then the next feature that I noticed that I really still like, it's not the newest thing, but is the backrest on the back of coffin boxes. I think this is really cool having rod holders down the sides of the coffin box, but then still utilizing it as a chair to have someone sit as you're going along. I saw it on a couple of different boats. And then the next thing that I noticed that is pretty much standard now that I've seen on just hundreds of boats is the aquarium style type of live well where you can see into the live well. Most of them will have a acrylic clear panel on the top and then also it will have a clear side to it so that way you can see down into the top of the live well as well as like down the side or into the side of the live well to see you know what is going on and as you're trying to get whatever bait you're trying to get out of the live well. And then I also saw something that was cool that Sea Fox did was they actually put a designated spot for the bait well net right here next to the live well, which is a pretty cool feature to have on a boat. I also noticed this sunshade attached to the back of this chair in the bow of this Carolina skiff, which is a really cool feature to have more shade on the boat. Now this brings us back to this table that pulls out of the back of the leaning post on the Camus and talking about prepping stations. I'm really impressed with having this table pull out of the back of the leaning post you've got all your tackle storage here but also having a prepping station where you can actually rig your baits and whatnot having it next to your tackle center is really really cool I'd also like to throw in this super nice table on the back of the Starcraft with the cup holders and all that is another prepping station it's right above the tow line where you would tow someone but these prepping stations are just really cool and nice to have on the back of the boat. Bringing us to the back of this sailfish where we've got the radio controls and two cup holders inside this like protected compartment, which means if you're like at the sandbar, you can get to your radio controls and your drinks, but it's still protected from the elements when you close it. We also noticed that almost every single boat had a phone charger installed somewhere on the boat. Some of them had multiple phone chargers on the dash, usually these scan struts that will like flip open, you put your phone in there, and then they'll like clamp down on it. But then a lot of them will also have wireless phone chargers all over the boat where there are these little pads and they are wireless. You just put your phone on the pad and it will wirelessly charge your phone, which is very, very cool. And a lot of them were also in something else that I noticed was a lot of insets into the dash where you've got this spot that is a catch all for all kinds of stuff. A lot of them had power up here, but they also had these wireless phone chargers where you could put all your stuff inside this little catch all compartment and and then it will also have this phone charger here that it will allow you to charge your phone. Turn this one up first. So oh, wow. So look at this. This thing flips up. Got a whole table. Look at these bar stool seats here. Like, that is slick. Oh, so you got two seats. You can move them over to the center and kind of sit here and have like, you know, a whole table set up. You got six cup holders. I like that. That is, that's pretty sick. And you got power right here. So you can plug stuff in. Yeah, you got you four USB plugs. USB plugs, charge your phone or whatever, put in a Bluetooth speaker, pretty nice. You're gonna like this. We've got a live well, aquarium style, so you can see everything inside your bait. But you've got these steps here that climb up to the second station, which is laid out really, really slick. Kind of got a standing point right here on the console, on the leaning post, I mean. And that's kind of an interesting design. You don't see that on many boats. 
So I do like that. That's kind of a new feature. And another thing that I found interesting is that there were a lot of different boats that had these blacked out steering wheels with the black speed knob and a, just a totally black steering wheel. I mean, I do like the look. I think it looks really clean. It looks slick. It looks futuristic. So I'm a big fan of the blacked out steering wheels. I do like this that I saw on a lot of boats. I love the matte black. I keep saying that on the regulators. That is something that a lot of other boats are not doing. They're doing Doing all the shiny acrylic but I do like the matte just because it shows less wear all of our push button switches I like that the fusion is also flush mounted that looks really really clean that is awesome this is a matte finish acrylic I honestly am a fan of the matte over the shiny acrylic just because of scratches and keeping it clean and the way it looks so but these are true flush mount really really clean all the way across garments got this nice door i like how the door to the console opens up because it slides forward which still gives you walking room whereas you know the ones that are on hinges that open up like this it blocks the pathway to get towards the bow so that is really really nice i like that and then this sweet door so as you open it that opens and closes so it pulls the top so you do not hit your head going in there really nice feature oh look at that i like that so you got a whole um, dive tank compartment holder there so ready for four dive tanks actually it looks like you probably put five dive tanks right there so you're gonna hold no just four so four tanks and then coming up to the front oh look at this i like this you got dive tank holders here on the side looks like you can put three tanks right here and it's all like you know built down in so they kind of stay there. That is pretty sweet. I do like that. And I also noticed that there were a lot of four rung ladders on the back of boats, which everybody knows that I am a big fan of a four rung ladder because that fourth rung when you are in water that you're swimming in, not that you can like stand in, that fourth rung lower on really helps to, you know, stand on that and be able to take stuff off. You can take your fins off, you can take your tanks off, and it's just very nice having that fourth rung on the ladder. We also noticed that there were a lot of boats that had in the bow area where the seats are like around the bow that there were backrests that would flip out some of them would be like you would pull them up push them over and then stick them down and then other ones were built into the gunnels where they would like flip out or like rest in it so it would be like a bolster seat or a bolster cushion on the side of the gunnel but then it would flip out to be a backrest and these backrests were all over almost all the boats where the bows would have a backrest either it would pop up like on a pneumatic or an electric hydro, you know, actuator, or it would just flip out from the gunnel. And then something else that we noticed as well is that almost every single one of the bows of the boats had some sort of power up here. It had, you know, phone chargers or it had DC ports. And then a lot of them would also have radio controls up here in the bow. So that way you could sit up in the bow and charge your phone and control the radio and really be able to socialize up in the front of the boat with having full control over the tunes and being able to charge your phones and whatnot and stuff like that. And these are pretty much the coolest things that I saw as far as features and different things to find on all the new boats.